talking about eggs, yeah. Egg is one of the <laughs> oldest foods known to us. It has played an important role in our lives and health all this while. Today on the show, we would like to look into the health benefits and versatility of eggs. Who should take eggs and how many eggs is safe to eat? Is it good or bad? Does it affect our cholesterol level? Joining us on the show is a medical practitioner and public health specialist, Dr. Adeyemi Adekunle in the building. Woo, 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 woo. Welcome, to the show. Welcome to the show. Are you there? I'm there, thank you. Good to have you, sir. So eggs is like a thank staple. You. We eat eggs every single day. Mm -hmm. um, but in your view, people have always complained that I'm so worried about too much cholesterol. Can you ever have too much cholesterol by eating eggs? Not really. I why I said not really is that you can actually have a slight elevation of your cholesterol level eating egg, but the fraction of the cholesterol that will go up is the high density cholesterol, which is described as the good mm -hmm. cholesterol. You can also have a slight elevation of the low density, which is the bad, but it is the one with the higher density that goes up more than the one with the very low density. So you can have a slight increase in cholesterol level eating eggs, but it is actually the very good fraction that goes up. Okay, so there's, um, I, I know that as you get older, parents, our parents are always advised that they should reduce their consumption of eggs. But I have a father that really likes like okay. it really does and what what's you, from your medical opinion should you as you get older reduce taking eggs or just cut off from eggs generally what's your opinion well growing up i think it's better to advise that egg but to cut off totally is not mm. advisable because there are nutrients and there are advantages in eggs that far outweighs the disadvantage that people get from cholesterol However, for a few people that are having some cardiac problem, which definitely they have not due to egg intake or cholesterol, they also have to reduce it. But going over eggs totally is not advisable because of the truth. The benefit of eating egg across all ages far outweighs the so, um, disadvantages. Okay, thank you, sir. So the, 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 there's this new, or is it new? Uh, nutritional benefit of some parts of the egg. So some say the yolk should be taken out and you know only the white part of the egg is proteinous. That's the only healthy part of the egg. How true is this, uh, you know, analysis? Well, the egg whites has predominantly protein. So for people who need high protein diet or who need to replenish protein store in their body, they advise to take the egg white. The yolk in question has some, has some very important minor nutrients and multivitamins that the body needs for normal day functioning. So, oh, so it's because the high density cholesterol as a component of cholesterol is in the yolk. That's why people say you trade with the yolk, but the yolk has a lot of minerals and multivitamins in it. So it's not advisable to throw it away except people who have issues of cholesterol elevation that are already having a negative effect on their hearts and mm. the cardiovascular system generally. It is, and what I'm saying is that the egg yolk is not outrightly dangerous because it has nutrients in it that body, uh, the human body have need of for normal functioning for right. and for mm. Right, okay, go ahead. Dr. Kule, see, um, one thing with eggs is that from when I was a little child and adult, eggs seem to have the most, um, it's been <laughs> different, it has gone through different phases from, oh, just eat, once yeah. a, eat one egg per day to eat uh, once a week to, oh, eggs are fantastic. You know, this is a conversation my husband and I have. He says, these scientists, they need to get their acts right. <laughs> today is good, tomorrow is bad. As of today, why is egg important? And why, and, and is it healthy, really? And how often should we eat it? Okay, even science is evolving day by day. And I'm sure you agree with me that recently medical science just com got confronted with the COVID-19, which is called um, novel COVID-19 because 
to this new is the coronavirus that human science have not witnessed before. And so researches and developments are to take place so as to be able to manage it effectively. And as we speak, vaccines that have been developed are just being undergoing trials. So just like that, it has evolved over time and a lot of researches have, have, have been done. At a point when they felt that the cholesterol in head is very, very bad and it brings us to health, can predispose to diabetes, mellitus, cardiovascular problem. You have had it been said that we should do away with it, but on a daily basis, researches, researches are still ongoing. Right. And we are beginning to see that the cholesterol component. So when we say head should be taken every day, I think or maybe it should be taken twice a week or once a week or not at all, is a function of the age. For those in the active growing cycle of their life, right. I mean kids growing up, Okay. And, uh, teenagers, young adults, and um, people who will need to re replenish their protein store for normal cell functioning and to replace one of tissues to build tissues organs who needs their brain to grow. You say that they can take egg every day and there is no side effect for it. But as one advances in age, let's say like from age 50 right. and above, you can now talk about people slowing down on head consumption. All right. But that is not to say that mm. taking one head a day is detrimental yeah. to health. Okay. Okay, so I had, a, I had a egg na egg conversation with Sinebo recently. The egg was, she was saying that, you know, the brown eggs are not as nutritious as the one that come white. Uh, you know, I should always speak on the colors that the egg come. That the colors of an the color of an egg will show whether the chicken that laid it was a healthy chicken, and so you know means that the eggs are more nutritious than others. What does the color of an egg <laughs> pose in, mean in any of these? Yes. Well, um, I think the the, the 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 what to know is that the function. I mean, the nutri. Oh, the same value of an egg is a function of what the hen is fed with. I think that the color of the head has anything to do with the nutritive component. I'm sure you know that these are natural deposits that God has put in the head, and so the color has nothing to do. However, there are a few eggs that, in the process of their being um, laid, that's from the point that the egg is formed till it is laid. There are some fortifications that are being done. Some heads are pasteurized. Some are even fortified with omega three, such that as the end lay those eggs, mm. they have those fortifications in them. But it is not a function of color, as you say. All right. So just a quick question. Um, is there any site, like uh, the eggs, the, the eggs that we're consuming, they said there's a free range egg and then there's the one that they give them a lot of antibiotics to the, lay, the chicken that are laying it. Is there any side effects from eating eggs that are manufactured strictly for mm -hmm. mass production and they have antibiotics in the chicken that are laying the eggs? Does that affect you as an individual for consuming such eggs? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the thing is, if these antibiotics are not, um, Leader, I mean, they don't they don't have toxic effects on the hand to the head, and it definitely cannot have any side effect on the head that is being laid. And it should be said that most of these antibiotics, protein, and nutrients that are given to the laying hands is actually meant for them to lay more eggs and to lay healthier eggs. Mm -hmm. So the drugs they are given, and most times these are the drugs that we have the human human component that are given to human beings too. So it's like when you see a pregnant woman has some infection and she's been treated with some antibiotics, you are now saying that these antibiotics are effect on the growing fetus mm. or when the baby comes. So most of these drugs that are given not necessarily antibiotics alone are safe. They are safe for the hand. They are definitely safe for the product Fantastic. of the hand. Thank you very much. So I think there you have it. Eat your eggs, they're healthy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Adeya Miyadeke for joining us. He's a health practitioner and a public health specialist telling us how healthy eggs are. They're healthy cholesterol mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong in you eating it. And there's no age range, you can yeah. eat eggs as much as you want, but at the same time, stay healthy. Let's go on a break now, we'll come back, we'll talk about other hot topics. Stay with us, we'll be right back. You can watch Your View on TVC every Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Nigerian time on DSTV channel 418 
Gold TV channel 27 and channel 47, Star Times channel 121 and channel 307, Play TV channel 801 and channel 190, UHF 49, Sky channel 515 for UK viewers. Watch live on Facebook at TVC Connect and on our website, tvcentertainment.tv forward slash livestream.